should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. A few dozen per camp. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. Freya, Mimir. My lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories and ruins. I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mimir. I appreciate your kind words. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go.
Freya. Something is on your mind. What is it? Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. He stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freyr had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down in death or upon meeting the love of his life. Both he and the sword were romantics, you see. Asgard fragments out there. The Einher Yar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? Only one way to find out. Fancy a riddle. If you fancy a boot to the head, riddle solved. Don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in neither Valir. We will be there. Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take damn Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Impressive. Mm, know what you want?
Betrayer. He spoke of your brother's sword. Or did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little friend. Soldiers, they will always be loyal to him, alive or dead. It is a matter of honor. Yes, they will continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his thumb. Not for long, they won't. Of the Yofer. The boar shifting warriors of Vanaheim. As wise and statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they'd like. Sure. So long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar.
Mamir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Krasfelder. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he told off on such a subject until he saw if we survived a battle. Mamir, what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with us in time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be Hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become Hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> still signs of the world serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. I can only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When we first met the snake, you said that he found Atreus familiar. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yorm even remembers after all this time who he once was. Your service, what would you wish to discuss? Hello, Radatasker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots, dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I was curious, my dear fellow. You come from lands beyond these, do you not? Yes. I was wondering, who tended your world tree back home? My home had no world tree. No, oh, you had 
globe without a owl. How did one travel from realm to realm? On foot or by sea. Good God, man. No wonder you left. Until our next encounter, then. Now, I know it's hard being here without them, but I'm sure old Brock would be glad you're here. And I'm sure Sindri, wherever he hmm. is, time to feed my plants. would appreciate you tidying up after yourself. Now, go ahead. survived bloody Ragnarok. I should think he's as prepared as anyone could be. To survive, yes. But to love. Brother? Angraboda. Does he... Oh. Well, there were certain topics on which I suppose I may have been a touch more approachable. I did my level best to teach him the ropes. Then you taught the boy to woo. To be perfectly honest, brother, I taught him how I wish I'd wooed. <laughs> I wonder if Sindri will ever come back. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never thought I'd miss their bickering. But it's really not the same place without those two, is it? We will maintain it until his return. If I had a stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin is gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no. It's from excitement. Hardly any non-giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among the very select few. So this is Jotunheim. As beautiful as the stories, and then some. Companies here, Ben. Ben Gaboda. Kratos, Vimir, Freya, it's good to see you. I wish to thank you for creating a path out of Asgard for us. Aye, a true pleasure to meet the lassie who saved our skins. Indeed. 
Your giant stuff magic is truly a marvel. We were so glad we got there in time. Freya, your brother's sacrifice won't be forgotten. It won't. I will say, you've made quite the impression on our Atreus's heart. Come here. Oh, like you weren't thinking it, brother. Ahem. You're a cherished ally, Engraboda. I hope we cross paths again. <laughs> I imagine we will. There's lots to do, and I'm just getting started. Kratos, the last time you were here was because of Fay, right? You saw this in prophecy. Your son told me. It's a beautiful place to rest. It is what she wished. Angaboda, you are the last giant left in Jotunheim. No, actually. My grandmother, Gryla. She's, um... Not really one for visitors, but she's still here. She's helping me forage at the moment. After all you've done, lass, she must be so proud to have a granddaughter such as yourself. She... She might be. Someday. I don't know quite yet, but I think it's a start. Freya, look. I did not think anything grew here.
love. Should we try to tell her what happened? She knows.
reminded of our search for the Valkyries to... Winters ago. I can see the similarities, aye. With the Valkyries, you lack spite. Brother, I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't know the full tale. I know how it feels to be wronged, and how it feels to achieve vengeance. I would hope to spare you the disappointment. Aye. Uh. shop I'm running out in the Alpine desert there's something y'all are probably gonna all see Ragnarok armors on the house we'll call it a commemorative piece let's make some magic a good fit Armor nice and bloody. I look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight elves. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? 
Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But... why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. Got destroyed. Where will the Einherjar go? Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Asgard. Who knows what became of it? Aye. Suppose they'll have to find rest somewhere. <laughs> We missed this. Oh, good timing! Remember that thing I said you was gonna want to see? You better go feast your peepers before it's over. Hello, Lunda. Hey, goddess. Uh, about your brother. 
I never got the chance to tell you. I, I know moments like this you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but I always known that pretty, pretty man had greatness in him. That he'd do something amazing one day, and I'm just... You know, I'm proud that now the Nine Realms know it too. I... I thank you. Anytime, ma'am. Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer. And his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. Well, good for her. Preferable to silence at last. A rare thing. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one on my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Aye. Women. Drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance, for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries. How could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? The laird just smiles. Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. Ah! 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 
I'm glad we can help these Ainherjar on their way, even if they hate us for it. They do not need to spend their afterlife serving a cruel god any longer. Agreed. Hmm. 